Hey everyone, welcome to No Ideas Media. I'm Nick Syke and here are eight things that farmers wished you knew about farming. Number one, behind the factory farmers of industrial ag are actually real people. 99% of farms are family owned by people who care. Regardless of size or label, the soil is their livelihood and farmers do everything they're able to do to nurture and protect the soil. Less than 2% of the population farms. They produce the food for 100% of the people. Agriculture is an industrial scale business and farmers have billions of mouths to feed and they know exactly what they're doing. Respect their knowledge because it keeps you fed. Number two, farmers do more with less. Livestock have better care than ever before thanks to modern research and technology, and less chemicals and medicine are being used than in decades past. Erosion has been reduced by over 50% since the 1980s, and farmers today are able to produce more with fewer resources, using less space and less water, all while feeding more people than ever before. Technology has improved every aspect of our lives, and agriculture is no exception. Number three, the environment and proper stewardship not only affect their profits, it's their livelihood and family history as well. For many farmers, the land they farm is the land they worked with their grandparents on, and it has just as much sentimental value as any other family heirloom. It's where they raise their children, and the better they take care of the soil, the better it takes care of them. It's a reciprocal relationship. Farmers understand this, and they do the best they can to protect their land. And it'll never be perfect, but acknowledge it's still pretty darn good. I mean, did your kids eat today? Thank a farmer. Number four, Monsanto isn't even really a chemical company anymore, and they have no control over farmers whatsoever. The seed market is really competitive, so farmers have hundreds of seed companies to choose from. No one forces a farmer to plant anything. It's always their choice. Monsanto used to be a chemical company exclusively. Now they focus mostly on seeds, some of which are even off patent. Number five, GMOs. They do great things for farmers and for the environment. Thanks to GMOs, and everything we eat is arguably one, by the way, farmers can produce more crop on less land. Engineered seed allows farmers to reduce or flat out eliminate insecticide sprays. It allows for safer chemicals, better protection from crop diseases, better tolerance of weather and climate, fortification with more nutrients, and not to mention the fact that GMO allows farmers to utilize no-till farming systems way more effectively because, again, preserving the soil is kind of the whole idea. And really, the list of benefits just goes on and on and on. Trust the farmers. If GMOs were really an environmental tragedy, do you think farmers would choose to stick those seeds in their dirt? No. Number six, there are over 4,000 uses for corn. While a lot of postmodernists love to rail against modern corn and its high fructose failings, nobody wants to mention that it does way more than feed livestock or sweeten Coca-Cola. Corn is in everyday products like fuel, makeup, plastics, tires, fireworks, medicine, etc. In fact, it would be a lot harder to find a product in a supermarket that didn't rely on corn in some way than it would to find a corn-free product. It is everywhere, and American farmers are the number one producers of it in the world. Our modern civilization was literally built on corn, and you can thank farmers from thousands of years ago for continually cultivating a plant that we could not live without today. I'm not even being hyperbolic, like corn is life. Number seven, factory farming is a slang term that should be thrown on the manure pile. Yes, livestock farms are bigger than they used to be because the demand for food is bigger than it used to be. That said, the values of farmers have remained the same and a large incorporated farm is often still owned by a family. Many larger farms have on-site 24-7 care from real welfare experts and veterinarians, camera monitoring, climate-controlled environments, activity monitors, etc. And I know from seeing it firsthand that the animals being farmed are often treated better than a large percentage of humans are globally. A modern dairy farm is more akin to like a cow spa than anything else because happy cows produce more milk. Number eight. 
Farmers are wonderful, salt-of-the-earth people who are intelligent and far more connected to nature than most of us are, and yet they are routinely vilified as nature's number one enemy. They're also doing pretty much the most crucial work there is, with little or no appreciation or respect from the 98% of people who couldn't do what they do daily without a farmer putting food on their plate. If any group had the license to be sanctimonious about the work they do, it would be farmers. Yet, you never hear much from them. Probably because they're busy working to feed you and your family. Because they're busy, other people, usually with little to no knowledge of what farming entails, are busy telling you what farming is. And they're getting it wrong a lot of the time. I mean, you talk to your mechanic about your car, you talk to your dentist about your teeth, doesn't it make sense to tour real farms to learn about farming? Ask questions of them and what they do. You might just be pleasantly surprised. This video is dedicated to Farm Babe, who authored this list, and who does an amazing job being both a farmer and an excellent communicator. If you want to talk to a real farmer, you might start with her. Details in the description. Thanks for watching.